Amid historic unemployment tied to the COVID-19 pandemic, Multnomah County's ban on evictions is going away. The Board of Commissioners voted to rescind the moratorium Thursday. We are hearing from our lawyers that that this is very, very complex for people to understand. Here's it's County Chair Deborah Gafori to explain so, why. Since the very beginning of this crisis, Multnomah County has sought to align ourselves with the state's eviction moratorium. In other words, last month, as existing moratoriums on evictions were winding down across the country, Multnomah County and Oregon state lawmakers both voted to extend those protections. That meant landlords and renters in Multnomah County were covered by both the county's and the state's plan. But advocates worried about what pulling the county's plan would mean for renters here, like Melissa Torres, who we interviewed last month. Month. Families with kids without food and no money for the rent. In short, Multnomah County's moratorium was more robust than the state's. It gave renters, for example, six months after the moratorium expires to pay back rent. The state's does not. Kafori urged people not to worry, noting the state's moratorium protects all Oregon renters until this summer. By then, she hopes to have more federal housing funding rolling in from D.C. Our folks are, are combing through um, Biden's plan and um, I am in close contact with all of our congressional delegation. I believe that this new administration understands that we are in a crisis. At the same time, the county is making use of one last gift from the Trump administration. Last year, the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development offered to let counties postpone mandated headcounts of homeless people due to concerns about COVID. These point-in-time counts are usually a requirement for counties to get federal funding, and Multnomah was due to conduct theirs this month. But at the last minute, county officials announced they will delay until next year. We don't want to introduce COVID to folks who are vulnerable, who are unsheltered. That's that's our biggest concern. HUD has promised federal funding won't be impacted. The downside, officials admit, some data tied to homelessness, including stats on the growing number of people camping on our streets, won't be available until at least 2022. Maggie Vespa, KGW News.